Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about the armadillo. Some of you might not be aware of what the armadillo is and it's probably f fair to go as far as saying that some of you might not even play the Cold War game mode, which is fair enough, everyone has their own way of playing the game and that's fine. But for those that don't play Cold War and for those that don't know what the armadillo is, I'll just quickly explain. The armadillo is one of the G.I. Joe themed tanks from the G.I. Joe season and Cold War is a completely separate game mode which is the only place where you'll find the armadillo specifically in what Wargaming calls Era 2. So that sets the scene but before I get into what is in my opinion the biggest issue with Era 2 and this particular tank I'll first go over what tank balance is because that's what i'm going to be talking about here is the balancing of the tanks in reality there is what i think most people would call the tank balance triangle you've got firepower mobility and protection a tank can only have two of the three so for example if we pick the historic uh, is3 that's got firepower and protection, but poor mobility. The Again, the historic Leopard 1 has mobility and firepower, but poor protection. And that is reflected in game the same way the reality of the IS-3 is reflected in game. So you can, you can pick almost any tank in the game or in reality. And this trend of two of the three is true. And that's where the balance within the game comes from. Every tank has its weakness and the game is all about learning these weaknesses and knowing what a certain vehicle can and can't do. For, for years now, I would say people have had countless arguments about this tank being OP or that tank being OP. There's the artillery argument, there's the Russian bias argument. You can name any tank almost and at some point there will have been a discussion about whether or not that tank is OP or not. And both sides of the argument have valid points. Like, just off the top of my head, I'll pick the artillery one. People say it shouldn't be able to hit for so much, like a thousand hit points. It shouldn't be able to hit for a thousand hit points. Which is, you know fine if that's your opinion you have uh, a valid reason for feeling that for thinking that but the counter to that is yeah but artillery is slow and it's got no a tiny hit pull absolutely minuscule hit pull it's easy to kill so there's you know there's the balance now some people will argue about whether or not that is balanced but there are points to both sides of the argument and that's what i'm conveying here this is where the armadillo enters the picture and for me I, I, I feel like I feel like the armadillo walked into the wargaming argument bar and said here hold my beer because I mean look at this the armadillo has firepower protection and mobility and as if that weren't enough as you can see, it's absolutely tiny, and it's only able, it, it's only proxy spotted. That's the only way to spot it, is to proxy spot. For the first time on my channel, I'm going to say that a tank is overpowered. The armadillo is overpowered. How many tanks do you own in which you can guarantee finishing in the top two for 10 games in a row. I'll wait. I'll wait for you to, to answer. I played and stopped at 10 games just to capture results to prove this point. Bef and, and before doing this, before thinking to myself, right, I'm going to do this because I'm going to make a video on this topic, I, I wasn't even worried that I'd be wrong. I, I didn't have a doubt in my mind that I could do this. Or that anyone could do this. The armadillo is so good that the only way to do badly in it is for you as the person holding the controller to mess up. 
you won't do badly because you have a weak lower plate or you've got poor gun depression or the enemy team outplayed you with skill you do badly in the armadillo by driving off a cliff your input to the controller was wrong and that's the armadillo's weakness that is its only weakness you can you can look at the paper stats for this thing you can look at the armor viewer and say ah oh, I think it's got a maximum of 50 or 52 millimeters of armor but as everybody knows you'll be shooting at 100 millimeters of armor with 300 mm penetration and then bounce the paper stats don't always make sense when you're in the game and I've, I've shot an armadillo it's coming straight at me and I bounced and you, at that point you're like I can't kill this thing I can't kill this thing. It's absolutely bonkers. It's it's the first tank that has made me make a video stating that it needs to be rebalanced. And speaking of rebalancing, here's what Wargaming has to say about the Armadillo situation in Era 2. I'm going to be paraphrasing Pain God here from the stream that was about a week ago. There has been an increase in soft fails. All a soft fail is, is the matchmaker will fill the rest of the game with bots and try to balance things out. The latest stats on that are in Era 2, TDs are 4.1%, Heavies are 48.5% and Lights are 47.3%. That's too many Lights and a lot of them are Armadillos because people love playing that freaking tank. The answer is, there are more Cold War tanks of different classes. They are in production and they will be and and they will help even this out so basically we have a tank that is legitimately OP and it's not going to change on the same topic Minto has mentioned to me that Wargaming are considering longer queue times for the Armadillo to try and help find more a uh, find more balanced games for it but I do feel that's missing the point this tank is OP no change to the matchmaker is going to change the tank. <sighs> I wanted to prove that I could take this tank out and finish in the top two every game. For make it, for this video, I just picked up my controller, turned my console on, and this is the first game I played. The very first game in the Armadillo. MVP, almost 500,000 silver top of the team I I had I had no doubt I had no question in my mind that I, I could achieve this and it's the same for everybody every game you get into where there's an armadillo the team with the most armadillo wins the most armadillos win and I do think that this needs to be addressed I think this seriously needs to be addressed I have 123 battles in the armadillo and I'm coming up to the second mark now in my opinion a tank is OP when you can predict the outcome of the game before it's even started and in this case my prediction was I can finish in the top two for ten games in a row and I was absolutely correct and to me as much as I enjoy that I do think that it's like that okay this is this is ridiculous. There needs to be... I need to, I need to be balanced. <laughs> the tank needs to be balanced. It's, it's just too much, in my opinion. And I really, really would urge Wargaming to, re, to reconsider this tank. Rebalance it. Because it is absolutely mental. Well, that's all I have to say about the Armadillo. But I want to know what you guys think. Because if we as a community can get some, you know, get the ball rolling on maybe getting an armadillo rebalance, then, you know, we've, we'll have some weight to this with the more people that speak up. So, please leave a comment down below with your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, if not a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I hope you're all still keeping safe, and I'll see you out there.